What's good, y'all? Today I'm going to show you how to play my last rodeo by Riley Green. It's in standard tuning with a capo on the first fret. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me and stuff. I appreciate it. This song's in finger style, so your thumb is going to get the 6th, 5th, and 4th string. First finger 3, middle 2, and ring 1. Chord you're going to need is a D with the first string open. 0, 0, 0, 2, 3, 0. 4 string down. There's a F sharp over D. All it is is a D chord with your thumb over the top of the neck on the second fret sixth string. There's a G, three, two, zero, zero, three, three. All strings. There's a B over G. All that is is that G chord from the fifth string down. Zero, two, zero, zero, three, three. There's an E minor seven, zero, two, two, zero, three, three. Um, I can't remember if I told you an A or not yet, so there's an A, but you're going to keep your ring finger on the third fret of the second string. I'm not sure what this A is called, but it is 002230. Um, it's some kind of sus chord, but I can't remember the name of it. And there's also going to be, you're going to be putting your pinky on that fourth fret of the fifth string. And when I'm teaching this song and showing you this, I'm just going to call it a C sharp, all right? Because that's a C sharp note. All right, but um, anyway, so the song starts with this little thing he does. He'll go, okay. He does that before the song starts. This part right here. All right, that. So all that is, you're going to hit the open four string and hammer on the fourth fret with your pinky. Keep your pinky there and hit the third string and then hit that fourth string again with your pinky there and hit it with your thumb. All right, like. All right, then after you do that, you're going to pluck the um, second and third string together at the same time and hammer on to the third string fourth fret with your pinky. All right, so I, you're holding a D chord when you're doing this, by the way. So all together. Alright, and then after you do that, hold on, let me do it one more time, I think I messed up. Alright, so after you do that, you're going to stay on that D chord and um, you're going to do this. Alright, so that's going to be your intro and first verse. Let me give it a little bit of context for you. Alright, so what you're going to do, you're going to start on a D with the first string open, and you're going to go 4, 3, 2, 1, 2. Alright, like. Alright, then after that, you're going to be putting your pinky on the fourth fret of the fifth string, and I'm going to call it a C sharp, but um, you're going to hit 5, 3. You're going to keep your, hold that D chord, and put your pinky on that fourth fret, fifth string, and go. Five, three, two, one, two. All right. And after that, you're going to go to a B over G. Just keep your ring finger on that third fret, second string, and put your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and go four, my bad, five, four, three, two. So he'll kind of switch this B over G up. He'll go like this sometimes. And sometimes he'll go. Alright, so sometimes it'll be 5, 4, 3, 2, and sometimes it'll be 5, 4, 2, 3. Alright, and then after that is going to be a G, and you're going to go 5, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3. Alright, so your intro and first verse is this. D, C sharp, B over G, G. D. I keep um, messing up, so let me start over for you, because my ice machine's going off. Um, so hold on, let me let that stop for a second. It's messing me up. All right, so all together, 
D, and I'm gonna call this a C sharp, but D, C sharp, B, G. D, C sharp, B, G. All right, that was your intro, and then when the verse starts, you're just gonna keep doing that. And then the last time you do it, you're going to go to a pre-chorus and it's going to start on an E minor and you're going to go. Hold on, let me just show you that real quick. Hold on. Later, he his last breath, look, he knows. And I can feel the truth in his old pale right up right till here. the very end. Cause that's the only way he knows. Right here, E minor. G. All right, so your pre-chorus is going to be E minor seven. So you're going to pick through it and strum this E minor seven. You're going to go. Alright, so that's going to be your pre-chorus. It starts on an E minor 7, and you're going to go 6, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3, strum. Alright, then after that's a G, and you're going to go 6, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3, and then you're going to hit the open 4 string and hammer on 2nd fret, my bad, and then hit it open, and then go back to E minor 7. And G. Alright, so the last time on the G before the chorus, six, four, three, two, open, and then hit two again and hammer on third fret. Alright, like. Alright, so your pre chorus all together without me talking. kind of messed up but that's your pre-chorus all right your chorus starts off like the intro and the verse but um it kind of switches up on you but it'll get, this is your chorus right here So that was your chorus. Um, let me give the chorus a little bit of context. In my last rodeo. No, it's just time for this old man to get this show on the road. Let me pause it for a second because this next part is what I want to show you. So the chorus starts off like the intro and the verse. You're going to do this two times like you were doing. D. C sharp. B. G. All right, then you're going to do that one more time. All right, then your third time around is where we are right here on the song. You're going to do this. So that's where we are in the song. I kind of messed up a little bit, but let me show you. This is that part. When life throws you off your saddle, don't think you lost a battle. Just climb back up and turn another road. The good Lord might want to call this cowboy home. This ain't my last rodeo. All right, so after you do that first part two times, 
you're going to start it off like you're going to do this D. I mean, sorry, D, C sharp, B over G. All right, then instead of going to G right here, you're going to go to that A minor, I mean, sorry, A chord with the third fret, second string, and go. Um, five, four, two, three, four, three, and then G after that, six, four, two, three, four, three, F sharp over D after, F sharp, F sharp over D after that, six, four, two, three, four, three, E minor seven after that, six, four, two, three, four, three, and then you're going to slide from two to four, with your middle finger, which is already on that second fret, uh, four string. All right, then go back to two and hit it and pull off, and then pull off the fifth string, second fret. All right, like. All right, then you're gonna go back to G, F sharp over D, E minor seven, and then A, strong. All right, so your chorus all together for you. D, C sharp, B, G. D, C sharp, B, G. D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E minor, G, F sharp, E minor, A. All right. I kind of messed up a little bit, but that's the chorus. And then at the end of the chorus, you're going to do this, um, I think, one time before the next verse starts, just like the intro and the verse. D, C sharp, B, G. Maybe two times. Before the next verse starts and the next verse is a little different um let me put my um airpod in so i don't have to worry about copyright and make sure i'm not missing anything Yeah, so what you're going to do at the end of the, um, hold on, let me make sure again. Ah, uh, yeah, so, so after the chorus, you're just going to do this one time before the next verse starts. D. C sharp, B, G. All right, and then when the next verse starts, you're going to do that one more time. D, C, my bad. D, C sharp, B, G. All right, then the second time around, you're going to do this. D. going to be hammering on to the um fifth string fourth fret with your pinky on that b over g chord the second time around you're going to go dang it let me lead up to it like that so what you're going to do you're going to start off like normal d this is your um second time around on the second verse d like before, C sharp like before. Alright, then your B over G after that, you're gonna do this. Five, four, three, two, my bad. Five, four, three, two, and then five, four, three, 
and then you're going to hit five and hammer on with your pinky to the fourth fret like like that and then you're going to start over go back to d you know what i'm saying so all together top of the verse let me make sure what happens after that Hold on. Yeah, so after you do that, um, for that verse, you're going to do that, like the intro and the first verse again, um, the normal part, D, C sharp, B, G, um, before the next pre-chorus, and the next pre-chorus is just like the other one, E minor, 7, and G two times, but this is your whole second verse all together, D, C, B, G, D, B. Let me start over. I messed up. D. That was your second verse and then you're going to do the um, pre-chorus again and it's just like the first one E minor 7 and G two times all right and then your next chorus is right here and it's just like the other one and you almost know how to play the whole song. After this chorus, there's going to be a pre-chorus. And let me make sure what it is. I forgot. All right, so here's your, um, hold on. All right, so let me show you this part. So this is the part I'm talking about. This is your um, bridge. It's after the second chorus. All right, so let me show you. Right here, G, F sharp, E minor, Alright, so that bridge, you're going to start it on the G, it's, after, it's right after the second chorus. And the G, the pattern, is just like, the, like before, 6, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3, and you're going to do that two times, 6, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3, right, but anyway, you're going to do that pattern two times, your F sharp over D is after that, same pattern, and your E minor 7 is after that, same pattern. And you're going to end the bridge on just an A chord strum. All right. So your bridge all together is G, F sharp, E, A. All right. And then you know, I already know how to play the whole song now. through the rest
rest of the song, I think. Let me make sure. This ain't my last rodeo. No, it's just time. Uh, yeah, so the um after that bridge, it's gonna be your last chorus, and it's just like the other choruses. All right, but anyway, that is and was my last radio. If y'all have any questions or if I missed something, let me know. Till next time, gone.